before I um, move on to the next thing I just thought I'd fit this temporarily primarily to get it out of the way also to check it sort of still fits so um, I managed to get one night of basking in glory at the work I'd done I was worried this would be the case though it looks okay from out here <clears throat> when you come under the car you can see my inner wheel arch is I mean I, I can fit my fingers in here it comes back together here at the top it comes back together nicely here lots of gap and then here it can't quite get around now I do have some of the old metal in there still so that would improve it slightly um, but not enough so I've got to decide now and I'm not going to do it now um, whether I cut out this flange lower it and weld it back in with a bit in there you know and, and basically fiddle with it to fit it or if I buy an inner wheel arch um, and I'm not sure but I you see I am going to be ordering the outer wheel arch um, so the question is do I do the inner as well um, or do I buy the outer fit the outer and then adjust my work to fit I'm not sure but whichever I do it's not this episode that was just a little update I can't tell if um, I've actually got all of this in view but I did say I was going to move on to something else but I'm not I'm going to come back to this okay so right around here I've managed to um, create a great gap so I'm going to deal with this bit first and what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a cut along here up and then I cut along here to about here and here to about there I can then pull these down so that they come level with this sill okay and then I should be able to tack um, if I pull this down actually it'll probably cause them to spread apart because this uh, no, probably cause them to overlap, so I might have to cut a bit of metal off. But I'm going to pull them down however I need to do it. Do what I have to do around that. And then fix those back in place. Then I'll take the wing off and I'll fill up the gap. And then I'll put the wing back on, make sure it fits. And then I'll come over to this side, the other side, which you can't see. Okay, so I will then... come over to this side where it's not it the, the, the inner sill is coming down too far and I need to work out how to take just a little bit off that maybe I'll just take a guess at it actually and squeeze it up when I have it off but the first thing is to cut and try to fit this side over here so we'll start here We'll cut it, we'll see if we can pull it down and take a look. Right, I couldn't cut at it with the um, um, oh, wing on, so I cut it, t I took the wing off. And what I've done is I've cut in the middle here, I've come along the bottom, up, across, and then just down to the flange so I can bend it down a bit. Looks like I need to improve that welding there anyway. And then here I've done the same. So I can move those down a bit to hopefully improve that curve. So I'm going to fit the wing back on now. I'm going to see if I can, and I'll probably have to cut these a bit in there. Maybe I should do that first. 
because I think it needs to come down about a centimetre, so that's quite a lot more than... that's going to be quite an overlap. So I might, in fact, I think what I'll do is I'll cut a bit of one of these off. It's easier, be easier to do it here and then add metal than the other way. So I'm going to cut a bit off here and yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Then we're going to try to bend it in place and then I'll try to weld the piece across. Right, this is under the, the car, so it's a bit of an unusual angle, but we're right below the wheel arch here. Those cuts has made this come down here, so that, that comes together, and same here, and we can see the this would come down a bit more, but we can see the gap there is about a centimetre or something. So that's fine, but it's not pulled this bit down at all, so I'd need to cut further back and given it's you know a right angle I'm gonna to have to do two cuts and you know all kinds of stuff to get that down and take out a bit and then when I'm looking just here I feel like actually my inner inner bit is coming a bit too far in and so probably I need to come in and take a little bit out here okay and then when I come around from about here I need to take stuff out um, so from about here, so I really, I went about it the wrong way, you know, with hindsight, what I should have done is I should have built an, an inner wheel arch to go on the inside of here. I could have followed this curve around, all right, I could have built it on the inside of my wing, having the wing off the car, and, you know, built the curve bit, and then the, the vertical bit, and and then I could have brought that and offered it up to the car, not the way I did it. So um, that was a big mistake. And I guess what I'm going to do is this is a really short video. But I'm going to post this and uh, um, I wonder if people could express thoughts on... Um, do I try to, number one, recover this the way I'm going? My view is no, it's just going to be too much. Option two is to do what I've just said. So take the wing off and use the inner bit of the wing to create my curve. Um, number three, I'm going to be buying um, a, a wheel arch for the outer wing. Um, what I'm trying to do is see if I can avoid buying the inner arch as well. I'll just get the arch. I wouldn't get the whole inner wing, but do I go to option three and buy both the inner and outer? Or option four, do I buy the outer, do the wing, and then um, follow my proposal about using the inside of the wing to create... Um, the inner wing. Um, I don't mind the time I spend, you know, and I prefer not to spend too much money, but I spend the money when I have to, or when I'm sick of something. So, um, my question is, which one of those do you think I should go for? And right now, I'm either on buy both the inner and outer wing or buy and do the outer wing, you know, the, the um, out, inner and outer arch, or buy the outer arch and fix it and then try to build the inner arch from that. Please let me know what you think. Okay, so um, whilst I'm waiting for questions to be answered, we're going to try fitting this panel here. All right, so um, I think the idea has to be that it comes in here as far as it will go. So that's what we'll do. Um, and I, I still don't know what I'm going to do with this lip that comes up along here. But I think if I can get it to lie flat first on here, 
then I'll be some way towards it. So I'm going to start by taking out these bolts which help hold up the transmission and just seeing if I can get this piece of metal and this bolt out of the way so that I can then um, lay it in flat in here. So I've removed this bit of the floor which was stopping me from getting this in. I don't know if this is in view but I've folded this out of the way as best I can and once I've got the floor in I'll have a look at whether or not I'm going to get this completely out or or um, redo it, uh, you know, or, or bang it back in and then weld it in. I haven't quite decided. Okay, so, but what I'm going to do, so I tried folding this down as a flange to go underneath and it really wasn't working and I can see now that it doesn't need to, it goes like this. So what I'm going to do, in order to get a good tight fit, is I'm going to use, I'm going to drill some plug welds in here it's going to come into this side here it's not going to go underneath because there isn't enough there and it doesn't fit when you come up here so I'm going to screw it in um, to get it tight so I'll use self tapping screws um, with plug welds next to them and I'll do plug welds to then get the um, it's it, it's solidly in there so that'll come along here we'll have plug welds onto the the support here okay so I need to cut it out at the front and along but before I do that there's a flange on here which ends um, at this point it's rusted through so I'm going to do the flange down simply because it's there um, I don't know if it's there for anything else but I'll do that I can then cut along here and here to fit this in I need to clean out everything underneath and then I want to paint hammerite in the channels and weld through primer on the flanges I'll need to again sand down here oh, and I'll probably leave it along here and then when I go through the holes I shall drill out for the weld through primer. Um, so that's the plan. So we're gonna and we can once we've got that in then we can start fixing this middle bit again. Um, yeah so that's the plan. Um, anything else? Does this just thinking about that? When this comes back, yeah, so that'll go on there, okay. When I, yeah, okay, so that's the plan. Um, so We'll start with this little bit here, we'll, and doing the cleaning is what we'll do. I just marked out that corner there to cut, and I thought before I do it, I'll just check underneath, check underneath, make sure there's nothing up there that's a concern. And I came down to have a look. And I've got this huge gap. So this panel is not fitting great. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some, as I said before, some self-tapping screws in just to pull it. Oh, actually, I might be able to use a couple of... Anyway, I'm going to get it pulled down tight first, and then I'm going to come back and have another look at it. OK, I've got a couple of screws in, one here, one down there, to hold it flat. Basically what I've done is I've just used a lot of hammer in the end to really pull it down along here. Still needs a bit more but it's coming. In terms of the difference on the inside... You can see where I originally drew the line. So I guess it's coming about half a centimetre so far. Possibly coming just a little bit more than that. And then you can see, well, I mean, I tried to put a screw in there as well. I'm just not doing very well in there. But um, but you can see how I've wellied it with a hammer um, or some of the shape. But that's all right. I'd rather have it sealed off. Okay, so, so this has been cleaned out. Um, so... 
uh, taken a wire wheel to all of that and cleaned out all the rust within the the frame. It's been painted in hammerite on the inside and then it's had primer, zinc primer, you know, weld through primer put on the flanges for welding. At the same time, over here we've got the floor pan. We've drilled out the holes for welding. This side it's had them um, got weld through primer on there. The other side we haven't bothered because we'll have access to it. And uh, this paint's probably still a bit wet, but we're going to fit that now and see how we go. I am slowly working around, first of all the inside, and then I'm doing the outside as well. Um, I'm quite happy that this bit here is all going to fit in quite nicely, but at the moment I'm struggling to get this flush. And I can't get clamps on there, on that edge. So I am going to buy some three mil bits because um, I've broken all of mine. I'm going to buy some drill bits. I'm then going to um, drill some holes and some put some screws through to pull it together. Um, so that should then hold it, and I will then. Um, Yeah, that should hold it down. I could use um, rivets, I guess. Might be a better idea, I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to use something to pull it in, and then I'll be able to weld it. So I'm going to take a bit of a break and order that stuff and go and get it. I've got it fitting. I'm just a little bit worried about um, this middle section here. I think I'll have to redo that. Um, but everything else is is holding pretty well underneath so um, it's just doing this one hole at a time um, as I move my clamps either side of it okay so, so first of all using screws up here just did not work um, what I ended up doing in the end was using hammer and chisel and by you know just moving back and forwards along we slowly got it up flat and then we could weld it in place got two holes there where um it's the tunnel underneath and so nothing to weld to um you can see i've gone around and i've ground it down there's a couple of places i need to put in um a little bit more weld uh, around the place but for the most part um i'm pretty pleased there are two places where I need to do a bit more work. One is just here underside. It doesn't look like it's quite um, sealed in properly. And then the other is along this side. It doesn't look quite right. So if we have a look underneath. <coughs> so from underneath. We can see just here little pokes of light. Um, so I think if I re weld those, and then I'll just need to seam seal along the outside here. But it's all come down, if you remember the gap that we used to have, it's come down pretty well. And then just up here, we've got a bit of a gap. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut a relief vertically in this metal. Um, so that I got a bit more movement in it and I can then get it pressed up against the sill and weld it in place and then again along here um, lots of seam sealer maybe even weld along there I haven't decided yet so uh, that bit's worked well it's all sorted looks okay underneath now this bit um, the top left corner is okay but that bit in the middle I think is still coming a bit loose so I'm gonna uh, what I did is I did two relief cuts um, I did one in here there one here and actually I did one there as well that allowed me to bend it all slightly differently so this is now well in but I think this bit is still a bit loose so I'm gonna have to grind this off and 
give it another go. Um, but uh, not today, I'm getting tired. So I'm going to stop for now. That might be the end of this episode. And if it is, the next one will be either doing this bit of the transmission tunnel, sorting it all out, or this top bit of the, is that the bulkhead? So pick up that and and this, or it will be to um, do this final bit of floor pan. Um, so we're going to move on to one of those areas, I'm just not quite decided which yet.